Starring a young 16-year-old Jennifer Connelly and a curiously cast David Bowie, who spends nearly the entire movie wearing a large codpiece, Labyrinth is the story of a girl who accidentally vanishes her baby brother to the Goblin Kingdom, and it must spend the rest of the movie solving the riddles and illusions of its mysterious maze to get him back. Borrowing from stories like Alice in Wonderland, Where the Wild Things Are, and The Wizard of Oz, Labyrinth starts off innocently enough, with our protagonist Sarah, played by Connolly, enjoying life in the real world, until a series of frustration-fueled mistakes land her inside the Labyrinth, where she's desperate to get back her brother from the Goblin King Jareth, played by David Bowie, who honestly spends most of his time on screen singing his own music and looking downright creepy. The remainder of the 101 minute runtime is spent following Sarah on her quest through this otherworldly maze as she meets friendly creatures along the way and attempts to solve all of the clues and puzzles laid out before her. Although it follows an incredibly simple premise, Labyrinth is anything but, featuring extremely imaginative visuals, creatures, and effects. While some of those effects aren't executed very well, an entire scene is poorly shot in front of a chroma wall for some reason, the Muppeteering work is easily some of Jim Henson's finest, bringing to life hundreds of beasts and trolls brimming with emotion and character. It makes you wonder why, 25 years later, that Hollywood has abandoned Muppet technology. The creatures rendered out in CGI today don't look half as good. Bowie wrote five original songs for this film, several of which even get their own musical scene, complete with the actors and Muppets dancing and jumping up and down to the awesome sounds of vintage Bowie. As exciting and as upbeat as these scenes are, however, they feel out of place in a film that is otherwise not really a musical. These days, Labyrinth remains a cult favorite with people my age, those who grew up watching the film as a child in the 1980s. And although it bears little resemblance to the type of Disney and Nickelodeon movies that kids watch these days, it certainly holds up. It's an energetic, colorful, and hopeful tale about making friends and sticking up for yourself, and definitely the sort of film more youngsters ought to be watching. While some of the acting may be bad, and the glitter effects terribly overused, this film remains surprisingly fresh 25 years after its release, and a worthwhile trip for anyone hoping to get lost in its maze of fun. Labyrinth, an extravagantly delightful journey for kids. Well, that's what I thought about the movie. Now let's see what you had to say in the YouTube comments. Once again, the rate matic to show us how we scored Labyrinth. A double eight. At times, this film is really cheesy, but it remains consistently adorable, and you really can't slight a kid's film for being goofy at times. I thought it was great. You completely agreed with many of you actually setting this is one of your childhood favorites. You also gave it a great.